Hey everybody, this is Ms. Dietrich and we're going to explore fraction division. We're going to explore the following question. How many groups of 1 16th are in a half? So first of all, let's make sure we understand that this box is going to represent 1. So I'm just going to click and drag this over here. And let's take a look at some of my fractional models that I have down here. It's my hope that you can tell what one blue would represent, one of these light blues. You would need 16 of those to make up the whole. So one of these represents 1 16th. If we take a look at this yellow box, you would need 8 of those to make up the whole. So that's equal to 1 8 So let's move that down to my bank. One of these purple, or actually it's more pink, that would represent a fourth. You need 4 of those to make up the whole. 4 fourths equals a whole. And the green represents a half because you would need two of those to make up the whole. All right, so isn't that what we're starting with here? How many groups of 1 16th are in a half? So here's a half. Now we're going to figure out how many of these we have. And you can probably visually see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight of them. Well, let's see what that would look like if we were to do the old paper pencil method. So we have a half, and we want to know how many groups of 1 16th. Now, if we were to do the work for this, that's the same as 1 half times the reciprocal of this, which would be 16 over 1. Now, if we were going to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that we can pre-reduce because we have a common factor between this numerator and this denominator, we can divide by 2 and get 1, and divide by 2 here and get 8. And isn't 1 times 8, 8? And 1, this is a 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and 8 divided by 1 is 8. Now, we counted out 8 of them, didn't we? The answer is 8. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so let's just pretend that we were going to change this not to 1 16th, but let's say we're going to change that number to 2 16ths. So do you see how here's a group of 2 16ths? Here's a group of 2 16ths. Here's a group of 2 16ths. And then here's another group of 2 16ths. By the way, 2 16ths, isn't that equal to one of these, and we can turn it around, same thing, right? It's an eighth, still an eighth. We have how many of those? We have four of them, don't we? So we can kind of do all different configurations. Hopefully this model helps you understand a little bit better about fraction division.